I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and you are watching the series of videos for your upcoming material management exam in Coal India Limited. So this particular video is related to uh, uh, you know inventory management. In material management, inventory management is one of the very very important topic. There are certain techniques which we use to classify the items in the inventory. We know what is the inventory and uh, when we keep the items in inventory we need to classify those items there are different ways to classify those items and question can be asked on the basis of that classification this uh, image which you can see there are different ways in which you know inventory items can be classified you can do abc analysis always better control it is called ved analysis you can do HML analysis, you can do FSN analysis, you can do SDE analysis, you can do SOS analysis. Out of all these analysis, the most important are ABC, VED and then SDE. So these three at the top are the most important and normally questions are asked from here only. These are relatively less important but still we will do some of these. So in this lecture, I am going to cover these five ways. ABC analysis, VED analysis, SDE analysis and then FSN or HML analysis. So this is what I am going to do in this lecture. So this is the way in which inventory you know items are classified. So let us start first with ABC analysis. You know ABC may A stands for always B better C control. All the items in the inventory are classified into three cat categories A category, B category and C category. In A category those items are kept. All these items are kept as per their value, as per their you know uh, overall value uh, in terms of cost. A items are very costly, they are very very uh, you know costly items. So if we keep these items in inventory lot of money is invested. So you know very high control is required their maintenance cost cost you more so high control is required but the number of these items is not that high so overall quantity is less but cost is very high b items moderate value cost is moderate but number is also moderate and hence inventory control is not as much the maintenance or control or care is not that much c is least cost items so you need not to have the control better control for this but yes the quantity is very high normally I give one example to the students so that they understand ABC analysis very well in home if you go to your home you will find that jewelry and cash is category A jewelry and cash is not much in quantity how much jewelry do you have this much this much that's it so where do you keep it under locker protection so control is very high cost is very high quantity is not there let's talk about b items laptop tv cameras quantity is more than that of a cost is less than that of a control is there but not as high we don't keep laptop under covered we keep it in house but we keep on checking it third is c category clothes shoes vegetables all these things utensils control is not that much let us say one fine day one spoon is missing will you get to know about that no laptop is missing you will get to know about that yes mobile is missing you will get to know about this yes mobile b item jewelry is missing you will go to police station to register the fir so that is how this is done maximum in number minimum in cost control is not required so you know you can go through this document stop this video and go to this document and uh, maybe what is important here is group a constitutes 10 to 20 percent of the total items so as far as the number is concerned 10 to 20 percent of the total items but 50 percent of the total value a basically contributes into this greater degree of control is required b consists of items 20 to 30 percent of you know total items and 30 percent of the value so out of 100 items B is 20 to 30, A is 10 to 20, C is 70 to 80 percent of total items. So out of 100, if total items are 100, 
what is a what is b what is c as you've seen you know 10 to 20 10 to 20 items this 20 to 30 and then it is saying 70 to 80 something like that so there is a range actually so minimum number is a and then b and then c number maximum is of c when you come to cost you know 50 percent of total value as per it 50 percent of total value and then this saying 30 percent of the total value and then this c c is very less 20 percent of total value something like that so 50 percent of total value so there is a classification you know and you will find some variation into this this method is also known as stock control according to value method value method actually so value approach is very important value is the term which is very very important in abc analysis so there is a variation in this particular range you can see this particular slide also 10 percent of the items 15 percent of the item 75 percent of the items 75 percent of the value 15 percent of the value 10 percent of the value so you know this looks like okay a may you remember a may you have 10 percent of the item but contributing to 75 percent of the so this range you remember because exam question comes normally from here and a items are kept less in number and uh, you know uh, monitoring is very high monitoring is very high frequent monitoring but it is kept very less in number so where do you have maximum monitoring that is a items go to ved vital very important if V items are not there, production will stop. Very, very important. E, essential, less important than V, but more important than D. D is desirable. So, this is as per their importance. Essential, vital, essential, desirable. It is used for control of spare parts. Spare parts can be divided into three, vital part, essential part, desirable part. Whenever there is a vital category of spare part is missing, even for short time, the production stops. So normally this VED analysis is done for spare parts. So I am not having V category or vital spare part, the production stops. Essential is not there, production is you know lost for some days. Desirable are those whose absence for even a week or so will not lead to stoppage of production. So their availability and the impact of their availability are the criteria. So as ABC analysis is on the basis of the value, VD, VED analysis is on the basis of availability of the material in the market. If the some material is scarce, that means it is not available like in India, developing country, where some material you are looking for, but it is not available. You know, then you should have that particular thing. Vital you should have in your inventory. Because if vital is not there, then your production, entire production may stop. So what is VED analysis? It is an inventory management technique that classifies inventory based upon functional importance. Vital category. It is important for production. If it is not there, entire production will stop. So, utmost importance should be given to, you know, maintain V items. So, there should not be any loss of V items that is there, they should be available. If you see this diagram, you will find that, uh, you know, what percentage should be V, what percentage should be E, what percentage should be D, V, E, D. So out of all items, 10%, 15% and uh, their expenditure or cost is also that much. Not very important slide, but yes, you should know what is the meaning of this. Then we come to SDE analysis, SDE analysis. Now this is on the basis of, you know, uh, problem of procurement, I mean acquiring. When I want some particular inventory material, whether I will be getting that easily or not procurement how shall i procure it scarce is something which may not be available in the market material that is scarce and available only for short period of time and then it may not be available d is difficult to get e is easy to get so obviously the item which is easily available i will not store that item in the inventory 
द आइटम विच इज नॉट अवेलेबल स्केयर्स भाई अभी ले लो बाद में शायद मिले ना मिले सो फ्यूचर बाइंग फ्यूचर प्रोक्योरमेंट आई मीन परचेजिंग फॉर द फ्यूचर इज डन फॉर एस सो दैट क्वेश्चन एज बीन आस्ट एस डी में फ्यूचर बाइंग किस में करते हो सो ही इज आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चन इन डायरेक्टली फ्यूचर बाइंग किस में करते हो शेल्फ लाइफ किसकी कम हो तो कौन सा लेना है समथिंग लाइक दैट सो इफ फ्यूचर में दिस इज हाउ इट इज डन टू प्रोक्योर एस आइटम इज डिफिकल्ट विच आर शॉर्ट इन सप्लाई उनकी सप्लाई नहीं मिलती डी इज यू नो डिफिकल्ट आइटम्स दे आर नॉट रेडिली अवेलेबल इन लोकल मार्केट आर टू बी प्रोक्योर्ड फ्रॉम सम डिस्टेंस ई इज इजिली अवेलेबल इन द लोकल मार्केट एच एम एल एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर थ्री मेथड वर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और अभी तक जो एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आए हैं योर कोल इंडिया में मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट में से वो यहीं से आए हैं बट यू नो दिस एच एम एल एनालिसिस एंड दिज नेक्स्ट टू एनालिसिस आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट एच एम एल इज सिमिलर टू ए बी सी एक्सेप्ट द डिफरेंस इज वी डू नॉट फोकस ऑन एनुअल इन्वेंट्री टर्न ओवर एज वी से ए आइटम्स आर टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ टोटल आइटम्स but cost is 75% so we look for entire turnover but in this hml we look for what we look for cost per unit this is we are talking about the cost of one unit h is high price m is medium price l is low price item unit price you know this division is on the basis of their unit price and it is categorized into three groups so on the basis of the unit price the items are categorized into three groups high price items medium price items and low price items so i have divided these into three categories on the basis of their unit cost so hml analysis what is the objective of hml analysis please go through this and i want you to remember couple of words here frequency of stock verification is decided on the basis of this स्टॉक वेरिफिकेशन स्टॉक मीन समथिंग विच इज कैप्ट इन द इन्वेंट्री उसका वेरिफिकेशन की फ्रिक्वेंसी को यह डिसाइड करता है कंजम्पन के ऊपर कंट्रोल करता है डिपार्टमेंटल लेवल एट द डिपार्टमेंटल लेवल बिकॉज यूनिट प्राइस ऑफ ईच आइटम इज शोन नॉट फॉर ऑल द आइटम सो कंट्रोल इज एट डिपार्टमेंटल लेवल बाइंग पॉलिसी द अथॉरिटी इज डेलीगेटेड टू डिफरेंट बायर्स बिकॉज वेन इंडिविजुअल आइटम इज बींग परचेज यू कैन डेलीगेट दैट अथॉरिटी टू इंडिविजुअल बायर्स that is that's it so remember these two three things and the rest is okay now what is fsn what do you mean by fsn analysis f stands for fast moving s stands for slow moving n stands for non moving items now this is on the basis of the quantity and rate of consumption i mean fast moving items are those which are very fast in their consumption rate of consumption now think of there are some items in your inventory Which is not even moving. वो पड़ी हुई है पिछले छह महीने से एक साल से वही पड़ी हुई है Don't you think that is a wastage? That is a wastage of your resource. So suppose I am running a medicine shop. There are certain medicines जो मेरी shelf पे पड़ी हुई है and they are not moving. I am not selling those. So with pass of time उनका you know expiry date आ जाएगा and then I need to uh, you know remove it. So I will be wasting that resource. So non-moving items should be you know uh, taken care of the first many companies maintain huge stock of non moving items which is a loss of wastage of their capital scrutiny of this should be done so this is a fast moving slow moving and not moving fsn analysis and i want you to read it the items which keep on moving fast normally they are less than 20% then slow moving and non moving non movings are you will be surprised to know 50 to 60% of total inventory is sometimes non moving so dead stock non moving is a actually dead stock which is not even moving so space management will be very good if we identify that non moving and we do something for that final classification of fsn items fast moving slow moving non moving final classification of sn items is done like this now this is very important slide 
ABC analysis, FSN analysis, VED analysis, HML analysis, SDE analysis. In ABC on the basis, basis of the value. FSN consumption pattern, VED criticality, importance of the component, HML unit price, SDE procurement basis. So I believe this is a very precise and you know important topic and uh, you can revise it very well take these notes revise it well and i think some or the other question can be directly or indirectly asked in your material management exam from this all the very best and prepare and just go through the questions in our test series on the basis of this particular topic thank you